Hey, there's Rocket the Scooter. He's off to the market today because he needs to buy some... Oh, what's that? A tree has fallen in the road. Oh dear, I wonder if Hector the tractor is around. He could help if only... Oh, there he is. Hi, Hector. A tree fell in the road and Rocket was wondering if Hook the Crane might be able to help out and... Oh. Thank you. Hector the tractor is getting all the parts that he needs to make Hook the Crane. First, let's get him in the flatbed and head back to Rocket and that tree. The first thing we do is lay out all the parts. To build Hook the Crane, we start with the body, then the bumper, and two side mirrors. Next are the two tracks. One either side. Now for the boom. And finally, a big heavy hook. That's why he's called Hook. Hi there, Hook. Let's move that tree for Rocket. Hook attaches two strong straps to his hook and then picks up the big heavy tree and swings it to the side of the road where he can put it uh, safely out of the way. Well done, Hook. Now Rocket can go to the market. Except with all this excitement, he's forgotten why he was going there in the first place. Uh, Thank you, Hook. That was Hook. Have a nice day, Rocket. That was Rocket. Thank you, Hector. Look who it is. It's Hector, along with his dear friend, Petal. She's a cycle, and Hector built her himself. He's such a clever truck, isn't he? Hi, Hector. Hello, Petal. Isn't it a beautiful morning? Oh, oh, don't cry, Petal. Hector, can you do something to help? Let's build an ambulance. We'll start with the chassis. To this, we'll add the body. Don't forget the bumper. Two tires on either side. What next, Hector? Oh yes, the doors. Let's put them on correctly. One and two. One big, bright, loud siren so everyone knows when an ambulance is approaching. And last but not least, two mirrors on both sides. There, our ambulance is ready. Well, hello there, Stitch. Are you ready to help pedal? Yes! is as good as new. Thanks, Stitch. Good job, Hector. See you next time. Hello, Wheeler. Oh my, you look nervous. What's wrong? Oh, I see there's so much traffic. It's scary crossing the intersection. Maybe Hector can help. Ah, there's Hector now. Hector, Wheeler is scared to cross the intersection because of all the traffic. What we need is a traffic light. Can you help us build one? That's great. Thank you. Now, the piece that we'll need first is a pole. <laughs> it's very tall, isn't it? Next, we'll need three blinky lights colored green, yellow, and red. These go in our traffic light, and the traffic light goes on top of the pole. Ta-da! Now. When the red light shines, cars that see that light need to stop. And if the green light shines, cars that see that light know that it's safe to go. The yellow light means, I'm about to change from red to green. Oh look, 
Here comes a big truck. He sees the red light and he stops. At the same time, the green light flashes in the other direction. That's for you, Wheeler. So Wheeler knows that it's safe to drive on. Bye-bye, Wheeler. Drive safely. Oh, look. There's Stitch the ambulance. She's going very fast because she has to get to the hospital quickly. You see, the hospital is just on the other side of the bridge. Oh, no. The bridge is broken. It fell down. What should we do? Panic and run around? No, that won't help. We need a new bridge. Stitch thinks maybe Hector can help. Go, Hector. Go, Hector. Help Stitch. Help Stitch. And there's Hector. Hector, help Stitch. Help Stitch. Hector, I need to get to the other side of the bridge quickly and the bridge fell down. And can you... Thank you, Hector. Hector is going to get all the parts needed to build Skylar the helicopter. Roll them out, Hector! Hector, roll them out, Hector, roll them out. Here we go, says Hector. To build Skylar the helicopter, you start with the body. Then you put on the landing skids. There are two of those, and they go underneath. Then you need the tail boom. It doesn't actually go boom. It's the tail piece at the back. Next, you put on the tail rotor. That's the little propeller at the back. And finally, you put on the main rotor blade. That's what makes Skylar go into the sky. And ta-da! There's Skylar in the helicopter. Skylar is going to get a replacement bridge. And believe me, it's very, very heavy. But Skylar can do it because she's so strong. Careful. And there we go. Job done. Thank you, Skylar. Now Stitch can get to the hospital. You're very welcome, says Skylar. Bye. Now Stitch can cross the bridge and get to the hospital on time. Hey, Stitch, why were you in such a hurry? Um, I forgot. <laughs> Bye, Hector. Oh, look. It's Little Red and Little Pink. But what's that? Oh, my. It's a slippy banana peel. Little Red has had a very big spin. Oh, that was scary. <sighs> Do you think Hector can help? Of course Hector can help. The road needs to be cleaned. And for that, Hector needs to make Stinky the garbage truck. But what parts do we need? Hmm. There's the truck bed. And then the cabin. And the bumper. There's the wing mirrors. And a special blinky light on the roof. Two more blinkies on the front of the cabin. And two wheels on one side. And two wheels on the other side. Ta-da! Stinky the garbage truck is ready to go. No, he's not. Something's missing. Hmm, let's see what it is here. Could it be a front-end scooper? No. Could it be a backloader? Nope, it's the big box on the back for all of Stinky Stinky stuff. Hooray! Now, let's get to work and clean that street. It will be much safer for Little Red and Little Pink and for everybody else. All done. Thank you, Stinky. Bye-bye, everybody. Wheeler is getting some big boxes delivered today by Hook. Thank you, Hook. Now Wheeler just needs to push them into the garage. That'll be easy. All Wheeler has to do is... Oh, um, oh, that's hard. Uh, I think we need Hector the tractor. Hi, Hector. These boxes are too heavy. I think Wheeler has a problem. And Hector thinks we need a lift from Ray's. So, off Hector goes. Let's put Ray's parts onto the flatbed and get back to work. Okay, 
So now we need to assemble rays. First, we start with the body. Then we put on the bumper. Very important in case you bump. Next, we have the wings. Two of them go on one side, and two of them go on the other side. And now we have the wheels, and two of those go on each side as well. These are the two side mirrors. Very important. And we also have to have Raze's cap with a light on the top. Finally, we put on Raze's fork and Raze becomes Raze. Hi, Raze. Okay, let's get those boxes in to the garage. Yay! That sure helped Wheeler out a lot. Without Raze's strength and his special forks, we'd still have boxes in the street. Not good. Thank you, Raze. And thank you too, Hector. See you next time. Bye!